Hi, this is Rosie this time. And I was at a house sale and I saw a stereo unit and it had a built-in record player. I didn't know what the heck I could do to get it out. At least I knew it had to get out because it looked so interesting. So I called my husband and he came over, dismantled, you know, took the record player out of the console. So, Ray, is this salvageable? I mean, can we do anything with it? I think so. This it's is a, a duel. Yes, it's a duel. <laughs> it's a dual 1015. I just finished restoring a dual 1019, which is the bigger brother to this one. So what I'm going to do is right now, I'm just going to see if it'll see if it runs. I'm going to start it. There's no cartridge in there right now. So it's running. You can see that it's running sluggishly. It's not even moving around. So I'm just going to push the table a little bit, see if I can get the arm to move over. It has hiccups. Yeah, so that's a kind of a indication that this probably needs some cleaning. So what I'll do is just flip it over on the other side and see what it looks like on the other side. See, they didn't have it plugged up, so I couldn't... I should have tested that before I called you, right? Oh, that's okay. You remember I took it out. And then the other thing that I found out too was that it needed a new head shell. What's a head shell? That's this piece right here that carries the cartridge. So I went on eBay and picked up a new head shell. Well, not a new one, an old one to replace this one because the part inside, the plastic, broke. So and you can't replace the plastic. So. so that brings up a good point. If this does not work, we can sell it for parts, right? That's what, I guess that's the but next But not step. that old head shell because that one's shot. That's why you have to this, get another one. Right. So let's take a look at I'm going to flip it over to the other side. And as you're doing this, tell me which parts could we resell in case it doesn't work. I need to be optimistic, though. It's going to work. It's going to work. I think, we can, I think this will work. So now that I'm looking at the other side, I can see that there's a lot of old grease in this cam right here. What's the cam? This plastic piece right here. It's, it's called a lot the of cam. grease. And all these little channels where the mechanisms slide through. A lot of grease in there. How does grease get caught up in those things? Well, they use grease in the beginning, but as it gets old, it gets gummy mm. and stiff, so it causes the mechanisms to to move slower. So right in here, there's some a lot of gummy grease. There's a lot of gummy grease around in different areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to clean all of this out, and I'm going to put in some fresh grease in there. I have some special grease. Now how do you clean it? I'm gonna use, I'll show you later. I'm gonna okay. do, I'll do another video but I'm gonna take a, a cotton swab with some um, alcohol mm -hmm. at the highest rate that I can get. I have 91 percent alcohol so I'll use that 91 percent alcohol to clean this, to clean these pieces out and then I'll put a little bit of the grease. Now I won't put as much grease as they put in here. I'll probably just put enough in there just so that it'll slide around. Now what's this right here? This is the motor. This is the motor. This is the baby that keeps everything going. Now do you have to put grease in that? Sometimes you can put a little bit of oil in here, but it seems the motor seems to be running pretty well. But one good thing about this motor, it has two screws here, so I could take it off and put a little oil in it. So I may do that. So the, the hardest thing for me is probably going to be to take this old head shell off of this unit. Why and is that going to be hard? Because I have to get it off and I'm not sure how it's done. I'm a novice. Remember, this is audio novice, so oh. I'll figure it out. You're a novice. So I'll take my time What's, and what figure does that out make how to me? take this off. <laughs> okay, so that's all I want to share right now in this part of the video. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thank you for helping me.